Hello my dear friend, uh, my name is David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com As you can see on my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry and so on. Today we will do together step by step a C program and exactly we will do the average of n numbers uh, you can find this PDF on my website and now we will write to get together we will code together this uh, program that calculate the average of n numbers so let's start Let's open code blocks that is an open source cross platform IDE and we need to click on create a new project console application next T so project title average dash of dash and dash numbers average of n numbers so next new gcc compiler finish so we click on sources main.c control class many times for zoom okay so we can uh, delete the hello world and now we have hashtag include stdio because it is we need to include the input output standard library and hashtag include stdlib.h because we need the standard library so inside the main function int because it returns a number that is this zero but we can write instead instead of writing, writing uh, return 0, we can write exit success ok, we need uh, two int variables n and i that uh, must be equal to 0 and float, as float variables we need the number the sum that is equal to 0 at the beginning and the average that is equal to 0 at the beginning so printf in parentheses inside the quotation marks number of numbers equal to can f because we need to write a number and uh, percent d because it is an integer number and ampersand n because it is a scalar ampersand is uh, um, the method for give the address of the scalar variable while i is less than n printf inside parentheses inside quotation, quotation mark black backslash n for new line number percent d so we have the index of the number is equal to i plus one semicolon so the i is the start the i variable is an integer that starts from zero but we write plus one uh, so it, it starts from one can f percent f because we need to write up because we need to write a float and percent number because it is a scalar variable so sum is equal to sum plus number semicolon and we increment the i variable so average 
is sum divided by n print test between uh, parentheses between uh, quotation marks backslash n sum equal to percent f backslash n comma sum semicolon print f backslash n average is equal to percent f backslash n average and uh, at the end return exit success so inside the main function we have two variables uh, two integer variables n and i i at the beginning is zero and we have uh, one two three float uh, uh, variables number sum and average with sum and average that at the beginning are zero so on the screen the program says number of numbers equals so we need to write a number so we write three for example if we want to calculate the average of three numbers and while i is less than n we uh, on the screen is uh, is written number one and we write the number one that uh, is a float and then it calculates the sum at the beginning the sum is zero so at the beginning uh, uh, the sum is equal to the first number and then i is incremented and so on the average is the sum divided by the number of numbers and uh, at the end of the while so it writes on the screen the sum that is a float and the average that is a float so now we are ready to run and build to build and run so we click here on the debug okay number of numbers three number one is 1.1 number two is 2.1 number three is zero so the sum is 3.2.2 Divided by 3 is uh, 1.066, etc. So we can uh, try the release. Okay, five numbers 1, 2, 3, 0, 0. So the sum is uh, 6. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 divided by 5 is 1.2 so this is uh, the program in uh, C language for uh, calculating the average of n numbers I want to remember that uh, on my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry but you can find also games you can find the chat so you can sign up and write inside the chat what, inside the chat what you want um, you can play chess for example against the artificial intelligence or the GPU or for uh, giving a um, so a definition an old definition 
So today we always uh, we always hear artificial intelligence, uh, but the artificial intelligence uh, is uh, something that starts from little programs. And uh, for understanding what is an artificial intelligence, you need to understand uh, how to code, how to write a simple program because uh, it's not magic, it's uh, software engineering. So after that, you can click here, make a donation. Dear friend, your donation is important. Help me update this website and join this community. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.